by starting this off. Let's do a little pan of the house here. This would be, um, ah, not a very good angle on the house here. We'll walk out in the street. Okay. Let's follow Mike as uh, he takes, whoop, what do we have here? <laughs> Look at this. This, uh, this lovely lady here with the large teats being sniffed right currently is Butch. Uh, household dog, just had seven pups. And she's molested constantly by the likes of him running up the street. This is the name of the place we're staying? This is the culture part. This is... This Fulcha. Is Fulcha. This means welcome in Irish. Okay. <laughs> it's the monkey puzzle, hence the, the monkey puzzle that you see here. That... Is the world's ugliest tree. They take pride in that tree. Watch out for the car, Bob. Oh, wait, did you notice now they're driving on the left side of the road, too? That's an interesting thing. Of course, it's a one-way road, so that doesn't help much. Now, we're, we just come down the house a little bit. We're standing here on what's called Train Hill. It used to be a train that came here from Waterford. It's an old train, but not anymore. Out, out there, out the ocean. Keld World. Uh, perhaps the war's the uh, biggest attraction. Um, I've never been there, but they tell me it's great. And we can see it from our bedroom window. Um, you notice the boats over there, and I believe they probably have rides and stuff, but they tell me it's a waste of money, so uh, I've never gone. You notice Butch is still with us. She'll, she'll probably be with us for the rest of the tour. Ah, uh, mister. Uh, she's hiding behind the cameraman now. Uh, let's see. see. The harbor out there, I should say the bay out there. This is the, what they call the arcade up and down here, um, where they have all sorts of video game places, little slot machine deals. Um, not very active this time of year. It's, uh, it's a bad time of year for, uh, for tourism and stuff. But um, we're now further down the road. You'll notice up there the spire in the distance. Um, that would be the Catholic Church of Tremor. Beautiful place. The uh, cross on top is supposed to be something like 12 feet tall or something like that. Ooh, that's a fact. It is a fact. And uh, you're looking back up the arcade from the other end now. Uh, if you move over, you'll see up on top of the hill, you can see the house that we've been staying at. Uh, it's off to the far end there, but look, don't worry about it. Hey, there's Kelt World, though. And over here... You have Kelt World. Oh, uh, perhaps for more as big as... No, I won't get into that. Um, you can see the water slide, of course, of Kelt World. Of course, you wouldn't go on it this time of year. It'd be pretty cold. Um, and over here, you notice uh, we've got the ocean view. You see that from our window every... Uh, hey, look, there's Irish people. I think there are Irish people walking by. <laughs> um, dogs up there. Oh, are we okay? Yeah, we're All right. right. You got dogs over there doing the wild thing. Is that Butch again? <laughs> no, she's, she's over here. All right, good. You move on out here, you get a little bit of Tamor Bay. Okay? And there's the waves coming in. It's kind of a windy day. It's, it was really windy and stormy here yesterday. You got a little remnants of it. That's uh, the Gaelic Sea coming in out there with the Atlantic Ocean. You're looking kind of south here. Now, out there is the light. That's the oldest light in Europe. Um, out of the end of the point that's been there for like 700 years or something. They've had some sort of light out there to guide ships. Move out along the harbor, and uh, yeah, you can uh, the bay, I should say. There's no harbor here. See the, the, the waves and stuff. It's pretty. And out there you have the three spires. Uh, that's kind of the the icon, if you will, of more. The middle one there, you'll see, has got what they call the metal man. In uh, I was in the 18th century or the, no, the 19th century. They had a real major sea wreck out here. Well, a major one where several people died, to coupled with a lot of others, when people would come into this bay instead of Waterford Harbor um, accidentally, because it's really shallow. And so they put that this metal man guy up there on top, and if Michael point down to me, he goes like this. And what that basically means is don't go in here because it's too shallow and you'll die. So that's the that's the metal man. And then you come along here, and there's the cliffs up above uh, up above Tremor Bay, and we'll be visiting there in just a little bit. And uh, then all the way back around. Hi there. <laughs> Follow me now. We're going down Main Street on our way to what's called the Donnerail. And we'll talk about it a little bit. We have some good stories about the Donnerail. Some we can talk about and some we can't, right? So, but as we come up this road here, you see it says, Welcome O'Shea's Hotel. Um, O'Shea's is a cool place. We've been there a few times. We went there one night. They had this really good band uh, had an extension that played till probably about two or three in the morning uh it was a good piss up night i'll tell you bob and shane could convert tell you about that bob of course was on the donner he, he skipped town left us we had no idea what happened to him for a couple hours shane 
was doing obscene things with this dog. <laughs> yes, that one right there. Still with us. The only problem is that dog's, he was there at the wrong, the wrong place at the wrong time that night. But, cool place. Uh, let's see. The slip is absolutely meaningless to us. There's no significance. Is that a pub? I don't know. I've never seen it before. <laughs> You'll notice Ireland has a significant amount of pubs per capita. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the horse shit. Oh, sorry. Uh, moving up. <laughs> okay, uh, now next to O'Shea, as you see, there's the Hy-Vee. I might have to go there. The Hy-Vee. Now, that's, uh, that's the town's disco. Um, there you go. We're being, we're being, strangely, we're being stared at. I don't know why. Maybe it's the camera in the middle of town here. Uh, the high beat is, I went there for the first time uh, a, lot, a couple nights ago. It's where all the kids kind of go. It's, uh, it stays open until 2. It's one of the few places you can drink after 11 here. But the, the bar next to it's very good. You, that, they usually will serve you after after 11 o'clock anyway, so it's kind of nice. There. This is Lord Donnerails. Lord Donnerails, they have a lot of good music venues. That's one of the things they boast. Uh, good music there. Bill talks about nothing but being pissed up. That's, that's the story of her life. So we more or less sum her up having a piss up. Never been there. This is the seahorse here. I just had lunch here today. Very good deal. I think for four pounds I had a really great, great lunch. Uh, also a good bar in there. Shane just told me a little fact. They won the best award in Waterford County for new pubs. Something like that. Uh, uh, now this is a, uh, one of what's called a chipper. One of the takeaways. Uh, Would well, you say it's the best chipper in town? No, obviously, that's Cunningham's, which would be up the road there. They have the best chips you'll find. But chips are actually french fries, and crisps are chips. It's one of those weird things. This, this place, uh, we had an interesting night. Uh, basically, I got really pissed up one night and was talking shit in here. Uh, I won't go into the details of the discussion, but needless to say, it, it became very political. Uh, Bob, Bob was actually the diplomat there. He was the one trying to... It's, uh, it's, of course, it's a hotel. All the hotels have bars, and they generally stay open a little later, but it's a real, real classy, uh, upscale type place. Um, not necessarily my cup of tea, but it's okay. Now here, of course, you have the bay. Um, again, from a different view, a pretty view, we thought. Um, and we've just come down the street a bit from the, well, from the, 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 the Grand. I thought it's a grand place, and now we've, I'd like to show you the Esquire. And just down the street now from the Esquire, uh, we're back on Main Street. You see, we started up when we came up from the bay. You notice over here we have a barbecue takeaway. That's uh, only open on weekends. Not a bad. It comes in a close second to Cunningham. Um, funny thing happened there one night. Mike and I were out and, and with Shane and Paul, and we were down at the Vic. And uh, I got up. I, I had to go. I had to go. I don't know. I was getting homesick or something. So I went and I called Nina. Hi, Nina. Um, you'll be getting. Although I know I'm speaking to everybody here, including Mike's friends and family. Hi. I'm also speaking to my own friends. And so hi, Nina. You get an honorable mention. Um, okay. So the, at the, anyway, this lady Ann that works at the, at the chipper here, the chipper takeaway is, is also called, uh, told me that there was somebody interested in me uh, at the local supermarket. Well, uh, we came back later and she thought it was Mike, but it turned out it wasn't. And uh, well, eventually, I don't know, something big became of it and now I'm, uh, I became pretty serious with this girl in the last two or three weeks. That's a pretty nice one. Um, Wedding bells. <laughs> shut up. Three swans. That's uh, probably our favorite the uh, Mecca. pub. In, uh, in Tremor. It's, uh, it's got German and Therese. They, have, they do things like uh, have little uh, quizzes and stuff there, a little trivia quiz, which is always fun. Although half the things are like things about Ireland that we don't know jack about. Um, nice place. Uh, music. That's a topic. Tom, as we continue to pan around and follow me up the hill, the musical tastes have changed. And I have to say that Mike uh, has become an ABBA fan. What? <laughs> an ABBA fan. You have. Don't no. You. Admit it. Admit it. This man went to Dublin and spent. Well, how many? One, after how many pints of Guinness are we talking about? So you spent one pound ninety-nine, completely sober, to buy an ABBA tape, a recording of of Dancing Queen. I tell you, it's something they put in the Guinness. <laughs> it is something they put in the Guinness. Anyhow. Oh wait, here's Kale's. Queen is today. Bob and I, the ultimate tourists. Everyone's staring at us. You were here right now. You smell coal here. There's coal everywhere. They, they burn coal. Maybe you can see it. But. Anyway, what are you looking at, man? Oh, Nicole, I'm sorry. 
Exhibit A. All right, behind me we have Exhibit B. This is Cunningham's. So this is deemed the best chipper in town. Please watch out for that motorcycle. And it, it, it wasn't because of Bob's last name either. They actually really do have the best chips. Apparently they homegrown. So that's a pretty nice little factor. Um, if you zoom over there, you see Robinson's. That is the worst pub in Tremor. It's the only pub that we were treated like outsiders. We walked in there and a bunch of assholes in there, really. Excuse my language to anybody at home. And uh, if you zoom over here, which is Tremor Shopping Center, you have the home of, uh, well, what's basically become a, a sort of soap opera for us. Uh, the, it's called the L&N Supermarket. That's, of course, where Teresa works, the one with the Bob scene. Uh, gotta watch out there. Uh, got a lot of stories to tell. <laughs> oh, there's a telephone pole. <laughs> gotta watch out for those. Um, I guess we'll go on about that L&M thing a little later. For now. What do you have here? Well, this is Connolly's. I forgot about it. I was standing in front of Connolly's. Now, Connolly's is, okay, the reason we found our Robinsons is one night, there, all, there was like havoc going on in the house. I, I looked over Bob and go, Bob, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, excuse me, let's go have a pint. They say the word fuck here as though you might as well be saying, you know, anything. Guinness? What? Huh? Guinness? Oh, sorry. Right, that's that's uh, Guinness. Yeah, so that's become our favorite beer. If you want to rule it as a as a beer, I I'll probably say it's much better than that. But um, at Connell was here. This is the night where where they we went from Robinsons and we came over here, and this is where Bob met Teresa. Um, I was of course. Uh, what was I doing, Bob? I was uh, drinking heavily. Yeah, I was drinking heavily. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's about the extent of it. Welcome back. Um, this, as you see behind me, is the church in town. This is the Catholic church. Uh, there's another church down the road, which is the Protestant church. Um, nothing really special here, although on Christmas morning, Bob and I went to Mass here. Which, uh, we went to Mass here, and uh, it was interesting. First time I had been to a Catholic Mass. Uh, yes, the fabulous scenes of Kill World from, now from, the hostel room of the house that we've been staying in. Uh, I'd like to conclude now the section of uh, the family, uh, etc. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them, and now we're going to... Something we hope you really enjoy. Hey, it's on! It's on! Of course it's on. Hey, this is Maria, my best friend. Don't she 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 she's really she shy, you see. Uh, and this is her time. Uh, this is uh, her time. Uh, uh, it was uh, their uh, birthday. Yeah, they're, they're twins. Guess how much money they have. They got see here, we're at Newtown Co. Earlier when you were talking about the metal, man. <laughs> Hello, all right, we go. Uh, this is a men-only beach here. No, it's not. It used to be. No, oh, it used to be. Oh, OK. Um, nobody pays attention to it anymore. Yeah, because it's sexist. It's sexist, yes. Um, so as you move out here, this is uh, part of the harbor here. I guess this is Shemor Bay here that you're looking at. That's Shemor Bay. Well, this is the entrance. I'm standing. There you go. This is from the other side. See, so so uh, moving around here, up this way, you see the metal oh, man, which was what Bob was referring to earlier in the video. Maybe a little closer this time. Man. You might see him. Um, if you'll follow me up this way, we'll come into the Newtown Cove. This way. As you guessed, this is a cove. This is a cove. Any good facts about Ireland I could throw in here while we're trying to kill time? Yeah, track. it's a beach. It's a beach? No, yeah. about Ireland. Uh, oh, about Ireland. Let's see. Ireland Population there. about three million. Three and a half million. Three and a half million. Okay. Uh, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> oh, there I'm she not is. Again. There she is. <laughs> I'll cover you. Okay. And here we yeah. have some more. Excuse me. You tell Cove. You got Cove. Yes. Yes. Um, now a funny thing happens here. I, yes, I guess. 
people are crazy enough that we see people swimming in this coast. And now we leave the fury of the sea to bring you to this quiet pastoral scene of Irish beauty in the countryside. It's Irish beauty. Look behind you at all the rotted ferns. <laughs> yes, all the rotted ferns. And the uh, silver rotted ferns. Well, and I uh, should point out, these are all real Irish people the around The rotted here. house up there. This is where we and are. And the, 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 the bear free and everything. <laughs> Red leprechauns, exactly. These are all <laughs> leprechauns. <laughs> all right, here we are. We're this on location is at Bally Scanlon. Scanlon. Scanlon, excuse me. Now, I've never been here before myself, but it's a nice place. <laughs> Just get a little pan of there. Oh, the babies. <laughs> uh, Pick up some Let's see, something to talk about. Um, we'll, we'll talk about a lot of the people that we met here in Ireland, but maybe this is a good time to talk about some of the figures that we've met uh, on the trips so far. Uh, some of the people we have are, uh, oh, sorry. Me! Uh, Mick, that was boring. For crying out loud, control yourself, lad. Anyhow. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's Just okay. went off on, a, on something, a tangent. <laughs> you got over here, you got our favorite pub in Tremor. This is uh, Martha's place, otherwise known as Powers. Uh, it's very small, very, uh, you feel like you're in her living room, basically. Um, just wanted to give you a couple words. Uh, Irish phrases, words and phrases. They say, I just did something, you know, they say, I'm just after having breakfast. Or, and they say, I'd say I'm just after having breakfast. Because they say, I'd say everything. Everything is in the conditional tense here. They have chips instead of french fries, crisps instead of potato chips, minerals instead of soda pop. They have pints instead of beers, hoovers instead of vacuums, plebs, proddies, patties. Patties an Irishman. They, you get a bit, you get cheeky, you say fuck off, you say piss off, you say everything's fucking this, fucking that, lads. You say, uh, you're taking the mickey out of, you're taking the piss out of if you're giving somebody a hard time. And I'll give you more of these later. All right, now we are on location at the Victoria House, otherwise known as the Vic. Uh, Shane, this is Shane's second home. We come here a lot. It's got good music, loud. It's like a pub you might find at home. Lots, lots of traditional. Uh, we'll go over some words now that where Bob left off. We left off with a piss up, pissed, rushed, knackered. What, is, what does knackered mean? Um, I've heard that a few times. Uh, tired. Yes. Let's just yes. say tired. For Correct. A uh, fuck all. Too fu I don't give two fucks. Um, Doyle, Fina Foyle, Fina Doyle. Political groups. <laughs> yes, those are political parties. Bob and I were lucky enough to be here during the elections to see how that works. Of course, now at this time, they still do not have a government here. Uh, PDs, TDs, Shin... I gotta see, be careful about this one. Sinn Féin. <laughs> Oh, and this is our, your man, your man John, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John. John gave us a, a ride to water for one day. That's nice. Teresa's next door neighbor. They know us here. <laughs> we got uh, I'll box you, uh, dickhead, bollocks, arse, bum, a runner. Whose finger was that? Oops. Cameraman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just some Irish girls having some crack. I'd say we've all been having a bit of crack, Mick. <laughs> Should explain is not what it is in the states. Crack is um is means fun. You have a bit of crack. You have a bit of fun. Hey, they, they always say. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> I'm here on location in Ireland. I'm standing next to a cannon. I don't know what the hell it's all about. It's just nice. Um, <laughs> There's one of the native animals here. Uh, let's see. Again, now we are we are not too far from where we were at uh, Newtown Cove. Uh, we're on part of what's called the Donner Rail. Donner Rail is. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, That'd be Newtown Cove down there, by the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Donnerail now, I thought <laughs> just a couple weeks ago, uh, it's a cool walk that you, this walk will take you if, if you if you take it from, let's see, I don't know where it starts, somewhere along that road that we were up a couple scenes ago where Bob was talking about crack. <laughs> if you take that road and you follow it, you go straight through, it winds through here and it'll take you all the way to the Metal Man. It's a cool walk that it's, it goes along the cliffs. The Metal Man. Yeah, and if you notice Standing that, strong and proud at the entrance to Tremor Bay. You sound like James Earl Jones, Bob. Uh, the remains of the seahorse crew are deposited here. Actually, these are only the people they could, they could recover. What do you got here? You got about 10, 10 12 folks uh, behind this rock. Um, 
Bob, you're starting to sound like you with a Han story. Feck off, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on. Howdy. Um, this is the uh, it was our camera person. Uh, some on some kind of crack, and I don't mean the laughter kind this time. She's been smoking crack. Um, this is the final scene, like I said before. Uh, we're sitting on uh, part of the Donner L nearest where we used to come over here with the kids to pet the horses. It's uh, a very I haven't seen the horses for like a month though, but it's a very nice uh, area, very pastoral. As my my favorite word of the video here, um, you get the little down down below. This place called the Cove. Um, <laughs> this like this is something like the Black Forest here of Nottingham or something. I don't know. Yeah, but, it's uh, a good scene. Isn't it? <laughs> I chose that one. Actually. You did choose it. My uh, eyes are watering. Like... Flying overhead. What's that? My eyes are watering. How close are you to? What I'd mostly I think we both mostly like to do is uh, say Happy New Year. Uh, sorry, this is way too late for Christmas, uh, which it was originally intended for, but. Uh, well, we're shooting Christmas for Christmas anyway. 93. That's happy, it. happy Easter. Actually, the final scene is supposed to be back there, but get back to that deep thought stuff. You deny me, you do, you do.